The 2-2 pitch, and this one is hit in the air towards right center field. That takes one hop and goes off the wall. 1-1 one, one comes home to score. That's Colson. Here comes Fitzpatrick. She'll score. Holding at first base is Lauren Washburn for St. Ace. First pitch bounces up there. Runner takes off, goes down to second, and the throw goes out into center field. And that'll allow Cliver to come down from third base to score. Next pitch, this one hit high in the air towards left field. Ricker going back on it and can't make the catch. It goes over her glove. One run will score. They'll send another run. Here's the throw to the plate. It is not in time. There uh, is on second. Here's a ground ball back up the middle. That'll be a base hit as it's O'Fields. They'll send the runner from third. Here comes Ludding, and the throw is cut off. Next pitch, inside corner for a strike. Throw down to second, and they got her by a mile. Hammond gets caught stealing. Next pitch, swing and a miss. And there's another strikeout, number nine of the afternoon for Perry. Next pitch, this one hit high in the air towards right center. Hartman moves over. She is called off by the center fielder, Aceto. She makes the catch. The throw comes in. It's late. Tagging from third is Colson. She will score to keep this game one going. Next pitch, and this is lined over the third baseman's head. Out to left field for a base hit. One run scores. Here's the throw to the plate. Second run scores. And in with a double is Fitzpatrick. Next pitch called third strike, and the ball game is over. That is the 12th strikeout for St. A's pitching this afternoon. Third for McKenna Smith. Next pitch. That is high for a ball, so Stackrow walks, and that will force in a run as Colson comes home to touch the plate. And Abby Merle now the batter for St. A's. Another right-handed batter steps in, still with the bases loaded. one nothing lead for St. A's, two outs. And she corks this one into short left field. That'll fall in for a base hit. One run scores. Here comes the throw for the second run and out by a mile. Here's the next pitch. This one is smashed into right field. That'll fall in for a base hit. It goes all the way to the fence. Merle scores from third. Headed to second with an RBI double is Bailey Kane. And with two outs here in the bottom of the third inning, St. A's now takes a 3-0 lead over Stonehill. Fitzpatrick still the runner at second base. This pitch is roped into right center field, and that'll fall in for a base hit. Rounding third is Fitzpatrick. She'll score easily. Heading into second is Washburn, and she is tagged out. I think today everyone did really well hitting their spots and moving the ball around. We did have a couple of mishaps here and there, but every, every time that's going to happen, there's nothing you can do to really prevent that. We can just keep working. What's great about the three of us is we balance each other out, and every single game you never know what's coming next, and that's kind of great to keep that offense off the hand.